Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable with yourself and relax your body. And keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. And gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body. Relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. So do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Homage to the blessed one the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, in this ongoing meditation sessions, we are trying to share some basic informations for you to, to develop a very clear a strong spiritual foundation with practicing meditation. So it is very important to know about the, the technique and at the same time how to do it and what are the benefits that you can gain, how you can apply it for day-to-day -day life and how you can use it for your conventional success and through that, how you can gain your spiritual development. Because otherwise, most of the time we see people practice meditation and they have no idea what happening to them or what going to happen to them. They have just hopes, just, just like ordinary people have hopes regarding their future. But this is not about hoping something. This is not about waiting something in the future. This is about you giving your best and practice in the moment with your best, according to your best abilities. So it is a totally different way of mental behavior. So dreaming, thinking, visualizing, hoping, waiting for something, you can do it in many ways and sometimes when you do it, you will feel so comfortable. But that comfort itself creates more difficulties in the future because hopes, of course, as ordinary people, we all depending on hopes. But at the same time, it brings the happiness for the moment. By the time what happens, our own hopes bounce back and subattach all our anxiety, depression, fear, unsatisfaction. This everything come with the comparison of our hopes. But when it comes to practice meditation, it's nothing to hope. It's how much you can give your best to practice in the moment. With your bodily, verbally, mentally actions. Physical and mental all together. So once you come to that path, it is very important, remember, you have to start with the very small things. 
don't try to go into very complicated, unknown, very difficult techniques. Just start with the very small things. Another thing is, the next step, try to make it easy. But unfortunately, most of us like to try some difficult, advanced things. This is the, the, the nature of the desire. We have the so much this the craving desire to gain things. So for your spiritual practice also the same. Sometimes the same nature come through that. So that's why always you have the intention to, to gain something new, accumulate something new. So it's never going to end. But settling down and have the contentment within yourself and satisfaction with what you know and first settling down with it is an art. So try to practice it. You have the best all tools within yourself. So that's why starting small is just observing your inhalation, exhalation in front of your nose. And it's a very easy, easy thing to do. It's not a kind of like a very complicated jigsaw puzzle. Because your oh, inhalation, exhalation is the language that can understand by your entire body and mind. And the, it is the bridge for the, the inner world and to the outer world. That is the connection to the entire universe. So, but the simply, make it simple, just for the moment. Maybe you have to do things tomorrow. Maybe many things happened yesterday. But for the moment, just when the inhalation, exhalation happens, Break it down to parts and take that the small steps. Make it easy. Just the simple moment of inhalation. And once it happens, you no need to think about it over and over again. Let it go. And the, the way when the exhalation happens, you, you just recognize it. So start to practice this simple method rather than visualizing, dreaming, or rather than creating, interfering, involving with the natural process of the inhalation, exhalation. So the inhalation, exhalations, this is a very bodily action. Just let it happen. Mentally just be aware, observe through the sensation not by visualizing. And don't try to make it happen. Because most of the time, when it, when it comes to observing inhalation, exhalation, invisibly, unconsciously, your mind start to, to inhale and exhale. So that's why you have to be aware about it, not to, not to do that. So make it very simple. Go with step by step, small steps. So once this is the this is the method, remember that once the, the small things start to continue, this consistency creates the opportunity to be sustainable with it over and over again and then in a long period of time it creates a kind of like a very insignificant advanced improvement or 
you're going to experience some kind of bigger result. But the thing is, when your cravingness start to imagine, rather than settling down with the moment, that imagination, that cravingness, create some kind of unbalance. So then that unbalance also start to continue. And by the time then you may practice 30 minutes, one hour, but it's a kind of like a struggle. After practice, you feel tired, sleepy, no, not kind of like a contentment. You feel kind of like a struggle. Maybe sometimes you don't feel even after you practice, what happened? In day-to-day -day life, it's going to become your behavior. Always you're struggling with things, with your bodily, verbal, mental actions. Unconsciously, slowly, you, you, it's going to become part of your life. So remember the, the way you deal with your mind, that's the way that you're going to deal with the, the world. It's not a different way. That's the same way. So that's why start and go with the small steps. And as you know, this, this little moment, when it comes to energy, this little moment of the waves or the drop of water, and you start to continue. And once it start to become a pattern, uh, when it kind of like a, con have the consistency, what happened? It become a huge, strong power. So little waves finally start to create a big waves. Little drop of water by of the time it start to create a kind of like a huge flood. So the mind the same. So one thought by the time, one by one, one by one, when you start to allow that thoughts to flow, it creates a disaster inside your mind. So don't allow it to happen. So that's why keep it clear, small, simple. And then by the time what happened, once you go with that, you start to understand the nature. It's not going to be the same all the time. It's a moment of inhalation, moment of exhalation. You kind of like start to feel and break down the pattern. So understanding that breaking down of the patterns create a kind of like a awareness in the process it's a kind of like you create a, this golden joinery you know there is a Japanese art uh, that's called kintsugi. Kintsugi. That that's mean if in this case, in case if, the, if this cup break down, what they do? They glue it with the gold. Especially very old clay pots. When it break down, they glue it with the gold. And then what happens? then it become more expensive, valuable. So the same principle you understand in life. So whatever the breakdowns, whatever the difficulties, 
whatever up and downs whatever the darkness whatever the misery you experience with the practice unbalanced whatever the the discomfort this uncomfortable physical mental feelings if you just keep observe the observation listen this very carefully now you are observing you feel your body mind kind of like a very uncomfortable painful so it's kind of like a breakable pot clay pot so your awareness towards it kind of like a, the golden blue so then just imagine by the time that you create a process which we call the practice so in that process just imagine you 30 minute you keep practice in that 30 minute you feel many up and downs unbalance pain disappointment but you are aware you aware about it and then end of the the session you feel kind of like a very valuable clay pot blue by the gold because you didn't you didn't go with that disappointment pain unsatisfaction unbalance but you observed it that observation itself by the time bring the clarity to yourself to understand what is the meaning of change because most of time we try to understand the change by verbally according to whatever the the, the other people told about it. but deeply when it come to dharma of course conventionally we can learn for a certain level but when it come to understand the real dharma there is only one way that is through your own inner experience so give a chance for that it's a very beautiful journey it's worth for you because we are doing head massage for us we are pampering ourselves and we are pampering and babysitting to the people around us telling nice beautiful stories so we used to believe stories and we are hoping that is the good stories will happen to us and we all follow the stories and we we, we tell the stories to each other we dreaming the stories but we cannot touch the the reality so that's why give a chance yourself to get out of the story but to experience the reality once you once it come to that moment of experience you recognize there is no unchangeable permanent concrete solid experience that is the the golden rule that you have to understand once you understand it you allow it to happen otherwise you always personalize this is me 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 why it happened to me i am the one who doing this it should happen it should need to come to me so like that you always compare 
So I give a, another simple analogy or example for you to practice in day-to-day -day life in situa when the situations come. So, you know, sometimes you go to, to see waterfalls. You like to see things that like Niagara. No, you 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 enjoy it kind of like a little bit far away. You you're not going to take it to you. You you have no idea. Oh, I want to take it home. But you enjoy it. When you see a mountain, maybe you, you enjoy it, seeing it. And when you see it from far away, it looks beautiful. Like uh, Puji San, you know, Puji Mountain. Like Everett's Mountain. When you see it from far away, people it, it looks like beautiful. People used to enjoy it. They have no idea to take it away. They have no idea to claim it. Oh, I want it. So use the same thing when it comes to any situation, any sensation. See it. You, even you can enjoy it. But remember, don't claim it as you. And even don't try to repeat it. Because what you experience, inside or outside, you cannot get the same experience twice, in the same way. When you're going to experience it next time, it's totally different. So then can you bring your awareness, understanding, focus, energy, effort, strength to that moment of experience? Can you be disciplined not to while you are experiencing not to hope and not to wait for something else? When you experience the moment, you have to understand this is it. This is it. Then you recognize life is so simple. This is it. What else life? Oh, we can, we can, reading books and we can define it in many ways, but for the moment, this is it. And then, then how about tomorrow? Oh, we can tell many things regarding tomorrow, but when it comes to the moment, this is it. So like that, settle down with the moment, settle down with the moment. When you are capable to settle down with the moment, you are increasing the power to expand the awareness. So that's, that is a result that you gain out of practice. So then give a chance yourself to experience this moment. Because we are the one who abusing our own life. Go behind fantasies hopes it's kind of you you are you are not validating your reality but still you are go behind imagination that is abusing yourself because then by the time you get disappointed So, practicing meditation give you the opportunity 
to settle down, experience and understand. This all together build up a certain kind of wisdom when you continue the process. And that once you have that wisdom, it's going to become very sustainable. And, and, and at the same time, it's going to become continue moment by moment, moment by moment. So that is where you are not going to hold or clinging to anything, grasping anything, believing this is for me. Because why? In deeper sense, you know there is no unchangeable, permanent, solid, concrete experience. It doesn't matter whatever you experience, then you are capable to handle it. Why? Because you know it, it just a, it's just a moment of experience and it's going to go away. And then you are not going to modify. See there, the, how the wisdom comes. You are not going to modify any kind of perception. That is where you accept the, the world as it is. Because this modification process starts inside the mind. That is where the mental formations come. That is where your canker, so the sanskaras start to work. But once you drop this modification, your mind becomes more relaxed, comfortable, sharp and clear. And that clarity itself brings the awareness to see things as it is. And in the deeper level, you are capable to understand how things come to be as they are. Not involving or creating how things come to be as they are. So that is what called the Vipassana knowledge. So then you start it with the breathing. Recognize this moment of awareness, how when it comes to your experience, when it comes to I know it, I can feel it, I can see it. Do you know from where it comes, how it happens? So that's why it gives the ability to understand how it comes to be as it is. So once you know how this experience happens. That is where you can become free from it. Otherwise, we always get tangled with our inner experience or the perception. That is where we create our self-centered, egocentric mind believing there is I am or me or self and solid, unchangeable, untouchable and then we try to maintain it, we try to validate it, we try to protect it and we try to continue with it. We try to live with it. How far? No idea. Again and again, again and again. That is what itself we call sansar. So that's why you a try yourself to experience the moment. 
as I explained. So with that, let's get into practice a little bit now. So your right palm on your left neck, head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. So bring your attention to your body and a scan head to toes to yourself and say, Swapatveva, oh, may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved to wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, breathe in, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. So when it happens through the sensation, recognize it, do nothing extra. Bring attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe, also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, or stars, reminding yourself like this, with clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible. near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm.
Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. Also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. May all your guardian angels and deities will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampati siddhya Imaya Dhamma Anu Dhamma Pati Patiya Buddham Pujemi Dhammam Pujemi Sangham Pujemi Attaya Imaya Pati Patiya Jati Jaravyadi Maranam Ha Paribunjissami Idam Me Punya Kammam Asavakya Vaham Hotu Sabha Dukkha Pamun Chatu Bless you.